My name is Lisa, and I love cooking. My kitchen has all kinds of wonderful molds for salmon mousse. It's got that bomb mold, a Mongolian fire pot. Food is like creativity and possibilities in life. But I don't have a working refrigerator. When I buy food, I have to hang the bags from the chandeliers in order to keep the rats from getting to the food. I'm Anna, and I'm Lisa's daughter. My mother's house, it just looks like something out of a horror movie, like a, an evil witch lives there. Something out of a monster movie, where it's some swamp thing is going to rise out of the basement because it's created a new life form down there. There's just food everywhere. It's as if somebody had just taken a municipal garbage dump and just dumped it into a house. My daughter threatens me that everything could be condemned, that the house could fall in because I'm not doing enough to maintain it. The neighborhood that she lives in is really beautiful. And then right in the middle of all of it is my mother's house. The neighbors are not happy with the house, and they have been calling the zoning board about the front yard. And it's a matter of time before one of them looks in the window and calls the fire department or the health department. My father was an abusive sociopath. And in a way, I always felt like it was like living with Jim Jones. He didn't know how to have a relationship that wasn't based on fear and control. Living with my husband was constantly up and down. You know, very good, very bad. I love you, I love you, I love you. Move out, I can't stand you. She was in so much anxiety and fear over him that what he said became reality. She became a hoarder because he told her she was one, like a hypnotized person, you know, carrying out exactly what he described. All the depression and misery and anger inside her was, was displayed in the house. I had gone through so much, I had cried so much, and I'd gone into a frozen state. She's lost contact with reality. Eventually, she'll make some heinous mistake and eat something that expired three years ago. I feel like it's a game of Russian roulette. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. This is going to be a tough one because everything in this house matters so much to you. This is a great opportunity to work on your mind and your home. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Pineapple. The dried pineapple. It is dried pineapple, oh. you're right. It's meant to be, that's meant to be good, right? <laughs> Man. Yeah. Hey, let's have a bit. The rats have been eating here yeah. and hanging out because they're they're eating and they're burning. And uh, so they're everywhere, man. I'm, I'm totally thankful for the mask, actually. <laughs> you did that bad, huh? Yeah, get a good whiff on that. Yeah? That's not good. Oh. The kitchen was disgusting. I have found smells that I've never smelled before in my entire life. Quick whiff. Oh, yeah. The chicken bones were disgusting. They were dry bones, but they were sweating, and they smelled like sugar and butt. Oh, oh my god. I'm getting that. That stinks. There's a lot of food in this kitchen, and the rats are not staying. They're dying. We have a rat. It's our first flattened rat. <laughs> I smell a rat. Is there a date on him? No, no date on them. It's like a scene from a, an old horror movie. And that means a rat ate something bad and died. It sort of reminds me of a chainsaw massacre in a way, when they enter this uh, house full of bones and gore. The first bag I have here 
um, happens to be a, a bag of cans. My name is Mark Pfeffer. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and specialist in the treatment of compulsive hoarding. Well, what's your thoughts about the cans? Well, I see potential in everything. Right. So what would that potential be? There are lots of things you can do with tin snips mm -hmm. to create flowers. Because of Lisa's intelligence and creativity, Lisa has taken the infrastructure, if you will, of a hoarder, the multi-purpose, repurpose use of an item, and taken it to a whole other level. Well, you said you see potential in everything except for yourself. Well, I'm too old for potential anymore. Really? Yeah. So this can, theoretically then, would have more potential than you. It's very hard to listen to this. To hear my own mother say that there's more potential in something that's trash than there is in her, that's an incredibly painful thing to hear from my own mom. I really did my best to be there for my mom, but what comes out of her mouth, it makes me very upset. Angry, frustrated, sad, all at once. Those bowls held a bag of sugar. Yeah, they showed me the sugar and I threw it away because it had been eaten. What? It had, had mice in it, mice poop. It had mice in the, in the sugar? Oh, and and I, here I thought I had to... They got into it. Without the downsize, how are you trying to downsize? <laughs> it's in my in the back of my mind. Okay. That's why we're That's checking. Good. Oh, in the craft, of course. I need that. What what was there? It was probably some type of liquid jar that got crushed well, by all the weight. By what weight? Of the three tons of trash on top of it. Do you ever just get to a point where you just give up because there's just so much stuff? Not because there's so much stuff. I'm frozen. It's not. Yeah. I'm starting to get frozen in this room. I, we've been working for an hour, and I don't feel like we even made a dent. And this is just fossil. It's not even like eating. It's just fossilized. Lisa. Lisa. Yes. Just out of curiosity, do you know what this is? I have to see it closer up. I'm gonna bring it up know. to you. We're I just curious. Now, it's did old, I say what it is? We don't have a clue. It's an old peanut butter uh, jar. Yes, but, but, but you've put contact yes, paper yes, on it. Yes, right. Is this a keeper? Yeah. Are you going to eat it? I might. I have to see. No, no, don't eat that. Please don't what? eat that. It's delicious. I can't They're believe you just did up. that. Ugh. I just wanted to show you. Oh, sweet lord. Why? Why? It's a candy. It it's ain't a candy. candy. It it's is trash. candy. It's not trash. Oh, it's what do you very think? tasty. See, Matt's I have never speechless, but run you've out of words that. in my life. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I am shocked. I have no words. Perhaps he's met his match. I, I have. I cannot believe that this lady ate this black tar from 25 years ago. She's just chomping away on it, and she's got a smile on her face. It's even tastier you with cream cheese. Let's get the spoons. Wow. This could be a before. I mean, this is so disgusting. <laughs> this could be this could be the house we come in to fix rather than the after shot, you know? I feel like I've let go of the thought of her as basically a normal person with a problem. And now I think the problem is taking over so much of her mm -hmm. life and, and the space in her brain. And that's very sad. Yeah. That's incredibly sad yeah. to realize. Where do you go from here? I'm really scared that she's going to die before she gets help. The reality is we do need to call APS. Yeah. It's a fact. It is the right thing to do. Anna knows that. I know that. Everyone knows it. The woman is sick, period. She's extremely sick. If she thinks in any way that I've been involved in calling APS. Anna is afraid to call Adult Protective Services because she fears being alienated from her mother for the rest of her life. Well, you don't have to call APS. Okay. We, we are proud to. I feel that it, there's substantial resources needed to get you the help required to be unfrozen and to live a safer life. I need to get help from local authorities. 
to get the resources involved. That includes calling APS, Adult Protective Services. No, I, I... And that's a good I thing, not a bad thing. No, it's not a good thing. We want you to be safe. We don't feel that you're safe here. You know, when the phone rings, I expect to be getting a call that your body's been found. And that's how I expect to have my mother die, and it's not what I want. Can I ask for a couple months reprieve before you do this? No. Why because not? Because in the meantime, somebody else will call. You come to them first voluntarily. They treat you very differently than if they somebody else turns you in. Because they will. They've been circling around like sharks. I don't see another way out. I'm resigned. Having all those people in the house, I just sat on the porch and let them do whatever they wanted to do. Lisa is finally accepting what needs to be done. But my sense is that she will continue to hoard items for the rest of her life. I don't think she'll ever recover in her lifetime. I think I have to sort of say goodbye to the hope that I'm going to see my mother again. I feel like I'm dealing with the death of a parent because it's the death of the possibility of having her back, of, of having somebody who's sane again in my life. Where did the poster go? Where did the cover go? A whole bunch of things missing. It's a horrible feeling. It really is. It, it, it's better to have the realization than continue an illusion, but it still really is very painful. It's going to take me a long time to accept this. Where did you? Poster go. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to AE for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.